Ever wonder what goes on behind the scenes of those Facebook food videos? Well, wonder no more as the drum takes you behind the scenes of Twisted London with the duo that have been there since the beginning. I was making, filming, cooking, editing, writing up the recipes, cleaning up and ordering for three recipes a day, which is like what we do as a team now on some days. Tom actually wrote into Jamie, our CEO, and I think we were hiring for a videographer at the time initially, or supposedly. And Tom wrote in was like, look, you don't need a videographer, you need a chef. Fast forward a week and Tom came down to my flat. I knocked on Harry's door and walked up the stairs having never met the guy that probably I'd, I'd spend more time with than anyone else I've ever in my life ever. He was making pizza cones and uh, I, I wasn't quite sure if it was necessarily the job for me. It's a relatively long process in that there is you have to start with the ideation meetings which happen weekly from that point we'll divvy up the recipes between the team we all work with uh, different videographers every day the chefs and, and vice versa so on that day they'll, they'll storyboard the video and work out the flow and then it's up to the chef to do a lot of research prior to that with commercial videos we have a really short lead time you know we can, we can get a brief and, and we can work through the recipe obviously there's a bit more back and forth when you're working with another with a, with a client as opposed to working within your team but we can get back to them with a with a finished product within two days only a few few months ago it was only one or two stations now it's four it, it exploded at a rate that we could never have expected um, as I said, like a million in six weeks was, I think, like wildly beyond our, our most imaginative dreams of how the page would, would succeed. Yeah, we're over eight million, which again, and we released a small cookbook last year. It's, it's been like quite an amazing journey in that sense. Mm -hmm.